C. Lindelof videos, future value number 13, finding N, N, where N is the number of payments. And here we're told, we're given some information, we're told that the future value is going to be, is going to be equal to 4,000. We're told that our payment is going to be equal to 200. We're also given that our interest rate is going to be equal to 2%. 2%. So what that leaves us is the number of payments in. The number of payments in. So this is all we're going to do is just going to fill in the blanks. So I'm going exactly to this. So you have to have this memorized perfectly if you're going to be able to do this correctly. So it says that our future value is 4,000. I'm just going to put that there. 4,000 is equal to, we have our payment of 200. 200 times 1 plus, and look, we have this 0 0.02, so 0 0.02 to the nth power of minus 1 over 0 0.02. I'm going to go ahead and just do some quick algebra here, just clean this up a little bit. I'm just going to rewrite here. We have our $4,000, $200 a month payments. 1 plus 0 0.02 is 1.02, isn't it, to the nth power, minus 1, all over 0 0.02. From here, there's just tons of ways to do this. So one thing we can do is we can just start by dividing, divide both sides by 200, and we would get 20, wouldn't we? We get 20 here, so we get 20 equals 1.02 to the n minus 1 all over 0.02. And then look here, this is just how I chose it is, you can multiply both sides by 0 0.02, 0 0.02, right? Should give us like 0.4, is that right? So 0.4 is equal to 1.02 to the nth power minus 1, right? Because this and this canceled each other. Just going to keep going down here. All I'm going to do, remember, we're trying to solve for n. So n is exponential, so it's, it's up here. But what I can do is I can get rid of this negative 1 by adding 1 to both sides. Add 1 to both sides, we get 1.4 is equal to 1.02 to the nth power. Here's the only thing that gets a little bit dicey. You have to remember this. Is here we're going to apply logs here. I'm going to apply log of 1.02. Log of 1.02. Right? And here, you actually have to put this into your calculator. But if you put it into your calculator, what you would get back is that, oh, first off, let's just be clear about this. Log of point of 1.02 of 1.02 is just n. So this is how this worked out. You got log of 1.02, uh, log base 1.02 of 1.4 is equal to n. And here, you have to use your calculator, and it's n is equal to 17. So I hope this was helpful. I'd say the first thing you have to remember is be careful that you memorize carefully your future value formula. I'm going to do one more like this, and then I'm going to do a couple of different ones. So hopefully this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.